Welcome back into the recruiting roundup on Sports360AZ.com. Jason Jewell, Scout.com, Jared Cohen. Every week we bring you the latest in Arizona high school football recruiting. This week, a smaller school in Florida really made a mark on Arizona prospects. They like what they see. We'll get to those. Plus, a sleeper product from northern Arizona has three new offers. We'll bring you those. But first and foremost, Jason, the Gatorade Player of the Year, the state record holder in multiple categories, a national record holder in, in a category as well. Luke Rebenzer, he's committed to Cal, but he picked up another Pac-12 offer last week. Yeah, the season he had, he had 71 total touchdowns, so I expected some new schools to come in and, and, and try to, to, to steal Luke. He was offered by UCLA, but one of the reasons that I like Luke, he's a good kid, high integrity. He said, I am sticking with my commitment to Cal. They were on me early. They were true to me. The first big school to offer me, I'm, I'm sticking with the Golden Bears. And it's interesting because when Rebenzer first committed to Cal, they wondered if he would definitely be quarterback or maybe it would be at the safety position, maybe both. But now UCLA and Noel Mazzoni likes him at a quarterback. So it was interesting how that's transpired. Yeah, he's a great player. We saw last year he had three interceptions to go along with his 71 total touchdowns. But I think he is a quarterback despite you know his physical limitations, a little bit short. That's why some of the other schools you know didn't re didn't recruit him but I think he's going to make some people you know pay later on we'll ask Drew Brees if he has height and physical limitations and look how that's turned out no need to compare Luke Benzer to Drew Brees but it's a very similar situation let's get into another offer that's happened Deontay Sykes recently decommitted from UCLA but picked up another offer yeah I think there was a mutual party between UCLA and Sykes where he added a UNLV offer he had before he committed to UCLA he had Michigan State Hawaii and a handful of other offers including Mike Montana, so we'll, we'll see where that plays out for Sykes. Terry Junior, wide receiver out at uh, Valley Vista, coming off a great season, he picks up an offer. Yeah, he's a kid that does it all. He plays receiver, plays DB, he's even their punter. He added an offer from Army. Told you about a sleeper prospect at the top of the show from Kingman, an offensive tackle, adds three offers. Yeah, we had talked about him earlier in the year in our Daily Dozen as being a guy to watch. He's six foot five and 250 pounds. He added offers from UTEP, NAU and Northern Colorado. Now his brother played left tackle as a four-year starter at NAU and got a shot with the Jets last year. And they, the, the coaches at Kingman think that Rod Gillio has a uh, higher upside than his brother Trey. Now let's get into some West Side prospects that have added offers over the past week. There's a few of them to go over. Yeah, we already talked about Junio you know, being out of Valley Vista. Then we look at uh, Zach Neal at Liberty. He played linebacker, played some running back, kind of a safety hybrid type position. He was offered by Brown and by the University of San Diego. So smart kid, smart kid that's going to get you know get to play on Saturdays. Then we look out way west side, Buckeye High School wide receiver Quentin Hunt added an offer from Texas Southern. He was offered previously by Northern Colorado. And then finally, we also mentioned that there was a, a school from Florida, a smaller school, Stetson University. Obviously really likes what they see from the players out here in Arizona. They've traveled across country, and they contacted three players uh, to, to add to their program. Now, Stetson is a, a one a FCS non-scholarship program similar to the University of San Diego or Valparaiso, schools like that. This is the first year they've been out here recruiting, and they must like what they see. They went out and they saw three East Valley linebackers. Nick Bialkowski it was a linebacker at Williamsfield. Actually didn't play this year because of an injury, but he committed to Stetson. And then the Higley teammates Mason Johnson and Logan Johns both were offered by Stetson after in-home visits from the coach. So Arizona players, keep an eye out for Stetson University. They're really making their mark here in the Valley. Now, tis the season, Jason, for the Bulls at the college level. It also means visit time. It's that time of year, and there are some players that have uh, visited or gotten in-home visits over the past couple weeks. Yeah, the reason it, it, it heats up at this time of year just because the schools that are not playing in Bulls are bringing kids on campus for their official visits. Uh, there's a little bit of break time for the coaches that are playing in bowls later on towards the new year. So a lot of kids from the Valley are making official visits. We look at Ishmael Murphy Richardson from Desert Edge. He took a, a kind of unexpected visit, surprise visit te to Texas A&M. He's going to go out to USC also this weekend. Alex Anderson from Saguaro committed to uh, San Diego State. He took a trip out there. There'll be plenty more kids, uh, sleeper kids, Sydney Malulu from Buena. He tripped to North Dakota State. There'll be a whole bunch more kids going on visits over the next month or so. And we'll keep you posted on all those. That's it for this edition of the Recruiting Roundup. Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup on Sports360AZ.com.